Hello everyone, this is Bamadele from Delaroy Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Java Programming. Uh, we are still on string processing. Uh, we'll be talking about the split method and the string tokenizer. Um, the split method is the simplest way to pass a string. It's using the split um, uh, with the parentheses. You know? This method is called the method with the character or characters that will split the string apart, yes. It actually split, uh, splits some strings apart. No, the result is always captured in an array. You know, but note the delimiter can be defined using regular expressions. The output of the pro, you know, it can also it can it can you can use regular expression in the nutshell in the course of the split method. Uh, for us to actually understand what the split method does, I would like to go straight down to my NetBeans IDE and create a Java class to actually um let us know the functionalities of using the split method so i'm going to come to my package that i have come to the right of strings i'm going to click on my new java class i'm going to write it write a class called string split okay i'm going to click on finish so this is going to be my main method anyways so i'm going to write the public static void main parenthesis string arguments x okay all right so i'm going to call on my string class give it shirts sorry this is a string um variable sorry for that a string variable so I'm going to give a set of string array. So I'm going to write the blue shirt. Blue shirt. Red shirt. Um, black shirt. Maroon shirt. That's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna call on my string array because this is an array. My um double bar. This double bar bracket signifies array in Java and in some other programming languages, high level programming language like C sharp, C. You have that. Results equals to we're gonna pass uh, the value of the, the, the array into a result. Shirts we call on the split, the same split I was talking about earlier. The reason for this tutorial, okay? So, we're gonna split up, we're gonna split it. So, anyway, see the karma that's what it's gonna do. Please split it up. The comma and the split and the space, please sp split it up. Now, you drop it down. That's what it's trying to tell the program. So I'm going to iterate through. Definitely, we have to iterate because this is an array, not a value for string. This is a for each loop. That's for each shirt, uh, for each result of shirt, pass it into a shirt variable or a shirt string variable. For each result, you got it. Aha! So now I'm gonna print that out. So I'm gonna print out to the console the shirt string. Okay, that's fine. That's just super easy, super cool. Okay, my system should be caps to the load to us. Super cool, super easy. I have my shirt. I declared it. The the shirt array, the value of my shirt, blue shirt, red shirt, blah blah. So I pass the arrays, you know, into a result. Bye bye. I use the split on it. For me to print that out, I need to iterate through each one of it. The blue shirt, the red shirt. That's just what I've done. Let me just run this and see what the split is gonna do to 
our arrays look at it anywhere you find a comma and a space please jump it down place a new line that's just what it's doing place a new line so anywhere you find a comma with a space place a new line now you can find it being listed in a vertical form blue shirt red shirt black shirt and maroon shirt okay that's fine i uh, would we'll like to check out the string tokenizer the string tokenizer class does the same thing as the split me uh, method but takes a different approach you must iterate the tokens to get access to them also note that the delimiter the comma with a space which we used for um, the split in this case means use both commas and spaces as delimiters yes use both the comma and the space as the delimiter thus the result from the person you know so now it's going to use both comma and space anywhere you find space please drop it down anywhere you find comma please drop it down not just inclusively where you have just only the comma with the space anywhere you they are into that they, that they, they, they are with each other but now it's going to search for everywhere the space start to drop it anywhere there's comma drop it down no that's what the tokenizer does but for us to really know uh, get to understand what uh, um, it's actually stands or what it does I would like to run a, a new Java class I'm creating a new Java class I call it string tokenizer example okay gonna click on my finish so this is going to be my main method anyways public static void main string um arguments x okay my colibris copy down okay now i'm going to call on my string what is going to be a short variable okay so i'm going to pass in just the same the blue shirt the red shirt the black shirt and the maroon shirt okay that's fine I close that up what am i gonna do again i'm gonna call on my string tokenizer string tokenizer okay it's a class st an object of the class string tokenizer new i'm gonna initiate it string tokenize so i'm going to pass into it as a parameter the shirt which is the arrays the value of the arrays comma and also the delimiters is going to be a comma with a space okay close that up now i will need to import something but let me quickly do a while loop if i if i do that now i'm going to iterate but now using a while loop so while something is happening please do these while st which is the object of the string tokenizer when it has more tokens it's going to be from the um, from the class string tokenizer tokens okay method continue to do what print out something to the console stem dot out the print line while you print out this time the st the next one definitely yes if it continues to have print the next one so when doesn't stop okay that's fine that's cool so now i need to import something the string tokenizer the java dot util the string tokenizer very important that's where we call this method from the as token as more token and the next token they all sit in the string tokenizer package over here okay that's fine so uh we declare a shirt variable blue shirt red shirt black shirt maroon shirt 
So we in initialize the string tokenizer, passing an object called st. So now in the parameters, we have the shirt, which is the array list, and also the, the, the delimiters, which is the karma and the space. You know, we use a while loop to test that is the object st. Does it, does it have more tokens? ST has more tokens? If yes, print, print something out, the next token. So if it doesn't, kill the loop. That's just what that signifies. So let's run this. Let's get to see this in our console. Do you can you see that? Now look at what the tokenizer does. It's similar to the split, but it does something further. Thereby, it splits down anywhere there's space and comma. Blue, drop it down, shirt, red, shirt, black, shirt, maroon, shirt. All in a vertical format. Now, do you understand the delimiter, comma, and space is being used here? So, next token will be printed out. The next one, the next one, it gets to the last one, which there is no other thing, which this will be returned as what? force and the loop what ends so thank you very much for listening hope you really understand what the split method and the string tokenizer method also does thank you very much once one more time have a wonderful time and don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye bye